So I don't have to bring in the rest of your stuff? Of course you do. Just take less and make more trips. <laughs> Come on, let's go check out our room. Good idea! You... What's wrong with your voice? I think I'm losing it! <laughs> I'm gonna take a picture of Danny losing his voice. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a couple of rules I want to go over with you first. Now, we're all representing Daring. It means I want you on your very best behavior. Yeah, Vince. Hey. Somebody had to moon the other team's buses. <laughs> no, I'm talking about staying focused and getting plenty of rest, which means there's going to be a 10 o'clock curfew. What? Oh, 10 o'clock? Come on, oh, oh, than that. Ooh, come on, Coach. We've never had a curfew before. Look, this is the state championships. This is what we work for all season. Coach is right. Tornadoes on three. Uh, ready? You too. You're part of the team. My first hand in the middle pile up and yell, thinking this is so exciting. <laughs> One, two. Everyone smile. Three, hey, who are they clapping for? You guys. You're in the big time now. Oh, yeah. The tornadoes have blown into town. <laughs> Take a look at the size of this place. It even smells big. <laughs> All right, grab some balls and get a feel for the court. I want the starters on the outside. Nice. Shoot game shots now. Game shots. What team are you here for? No, I just came to watch. I love basketball. Hmm, watch this. That was my patented win the game and meet the cutest girl in the stand shot. <laughs> I'm Marissa. Hi, I'm Teddy. But my friends, they call me Teddy Bear because I'm so cute and huggable. <laughs> well, I can see that. But aren't you going to get in trouble for talking to me during practice? Oh, oh, the coach loves the teddy bear. He lets me do whatever I want. Brodus, get your butt back on the court. And right now, I want to go play ball on the court. Well, it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, too. Hey, Teddy, isn't that the girl you were talking to at practice today? She must be out hunting the elusive teddy bear. I wish. She's a college girl, and I'm still in high school. She's hot! Hi, Teddy. I was hoping I'd run into you. Hey, I was hoping you'd run into me, too. Did you get in trouble for talking to me? Well, just 50 extra laps, but you're worth it. Well, hey, listen, my sorority's having a party tonight, and I would love it if you could stop by. I kind of have to stay in tonight. We have a big game tomorrow. Oh, well, it's too bad. Well, maybe next time. Hey, wait. Uh, maybe I could stop by for a few minutes. Great. Well, then I will see you there, teddy bear. Guys, grow up! You know, this room's nice, 
but it just doesn't feel lived in. I know what you mean. Uh-huh. <laughs> now it feels like home. Woo! Guys, am I wearing too much cologne? I think you're good for the rest of the year. <laughs> Teddy, you're not going to the sorority party, are you? <laughs> think I'd smell like this for you guys? You remember what Coach said about staying focused? I am focused, but I like Marissa and I want to get to know her. I can handle both. Well, good. I see you guys are settling in. Now, I want you to get a good night's rest. You're going to need it tomorrow if we're going to win. You know, you know the 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 Okay, now, remember, curfew is in one hour and I will be checking. All right? And clean up in here. It's a mess. Don't look at us, Coach. This is all Danny stuff. Save your voice. I want you well for tomorrow. And could you ease up on the cologne? <laughs> Here goes your party, T-Bear. Oh, man, now I'm never going to get to see Marissa. Oh! Christy. Sorry, she's a little flash happy. I am not. <laughs> hey, we're going to get some ice cream sundaes. You guys want to come? It's probably good oh, for my perfect. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Come on, Teddy. No, I'm going to hang back and call Marissa and let her know I can't make the party. Okay. Smell you later. <laughs> On second thought, I'll tell her in person. how they get ready for a big game? No, no. Teddy, five minutes, you're up. Let's go. Okay, okay. Marissa, if I don't go, I'm going to miss curfew. And if I miss curfew, Coach is really going to kill me. And, and if he kills me, that could seriously cut down on our future quality time together. Yeah, and so. if we don't leave now, none of us will have a future. Coach is coming. Marissa, he can't see us. You gotta get rid of him. We'll be behind the couch. <laughs> Hi, can I help you? Yeah. You haven't seen any kids that look like they don't belong here, have you? Nope. You know, maybe you should try next door at the Omega House. No, I'm pretty sure I have the right place. I'll just wait right here. We're dead. Maybe not. 
I got an idea. Okay, guys, now's your chance. <laughs> Like my mother. I feel sorry for your father. Teddy, hurry up. Oh, sorry, you can't push it, girl. I had four layers of underwear I had to figure out. <laughs> okay, floor's not moving. We just gotta go for it. <laughs> How'd you like to walk and help this girl home? <laughs> Everything all right? Uh, poor girl didn't make it into the sorority. Wait a minute. Um, here, take this. Oh, thank you. You're so kind and handsome. Mama like you. You made it. Well, let's get back to the dorm. Hey, hold up. I want to say goodnight to Marissa. Teddy, it's past curfew. I'll catch up. You can do what you want, but we gotta run. No, we don't. My date's pulling his car around. Oh, shut up. <laughs> For your throat in the middle of the night, you know what to do. <laughs> We're gonna be sorry we ever gave that to him. <gasps> oh my gosh, I don't believe it. It's me. I know, I just can't believe you're wearing that dress with those ugly shoes. Look, look there's no time to talk. The fuller will be back any second. You guys gotta go. You gotta get out of here. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Get to bed, quick, 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 quick! You're here. Well, of course we're here, Coach. Where else would we be? Maybe a sorority party? Coach, we're trying to go to sleep here. Where's Teddy? In the bathroom. Okay. Oh, you guys are here by curfew. All right, good night. Good night, Coach. Whoops! <laughs> no, no. Uh, not so fast, Oprah. <laughs> Coach, I... <clears throat> Coach, <laughs> I'd love to talk to you, but I gotta get some sleep, man. Big game tomorrow. No, Teddy. You can step as late as you want because you're not planning the game tomorrow. Sky 7. morning and my voice is back. That's great. Now I'm losing mine. Try not to use it. But I'm a cheerleader. <laughs> okay, guys. We're going to take this tournament one game at a time. No. Make that one win at a time. What time is it? Teddy, why are you suited up? You just want to be ready if you change your mind and put me in? Not going to happen. Take a seat. Let's do it, team. Win on three. One, two, three. Win! Win!
here. Come on, coach, now you got to put me in. Bass, you're in. You got it, coach. I should be in that game, and you know it. Teddy, you're already missing one game. You want to miss the rest of the tournament? Fucks. Right, that's it, Brodus. Locker room now. Get back out there. Get a game to win. You know, coach, you can catch more flies with honey than you can with vinegar. Who wants flies anyway? Okay, look, we had a tough first half. We're only down by 11. We have plenty of time to turn this around. Coach, we are getting killed under the boards. Yeah, and we could sure use another three-point shooter. Concentrate on what's happening on the court, not off it, and we'll win this game. All right, let's go. Let's get out there. Come on. Let's do it, guys. Come on. Teddy, you really let me down. Coach, I don't want to sit on the bench. Well, then you shouldn't have broken curfew. And the way you're acting now is making things worse. I'm just trying to help my team, but you won't let me. Well, if you're trying to help your team, quit bringing everybody down and look for a way to support them. Who's that team? The other team's serious. Hearing. Hearing. <laughs> you're done, kid. You got nothing left. <laughs> Hand them over. <sighs> I gotta cover Mary Beth. I'm gonna turn this thing around. Let's twist the tornadoes. Five, six, seven, eight. My back is breaking, my belt too tight, my hips are shaking from left to right. Say, ooh. Ooh, my chatter. Tornado, got the power. Say, ooh. Ooh, my chatter. Tornado, got the power. Woo! Teddy, you found a way to help your team. Thanks, coach. But I'll take plan over cheerleading any day. <laughs> I think I sprained a pom pom. <laughs> hey, let's lift Teddy. Right on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> let's pile on Teddy. Hey, man, get ready. TNBC is going to show you the coolest place on the net. There is only one place for all this adventure. Join us at the Max. TNBC goes online at NBC.com. Check out your favorite TNBC stars. Like me. At, at the, the Max. Max. At NBC.com. Where it's at. For bios on the stars, chat rooms, games, tickets, informati, old-fashioned tips, even sweepstakes. Yeah, that's right. Join us at the Max. At NBC.com.
Cinderella story these daring tornadoes have been. From out of nowhere, they've made it to the semifinals of the Indiana State Championships. Now, down by two with only seconds left. Is the fairy tale over? Okay, everybody relax. We're exactly where we want to be. Uh, coach, we're losing? <laughs> exactly. Now all the pressure's on them to stop us. Hey, coach is right. I mean, we weren't even supposed to make it this far. We've got nothing to lose. All right, look. Everyone expects the ball to go to Vince. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to stack it on the right, give the ball to Vince, and run a blue 31. But coach will be all over him. Exactly. When Vince draws the coverage, he's going to dish it to Teddy in the corner for three. My shot, huh? <laughs> you sure about that? It's going to work. Trust me. You can do it, Teddy. You can do it, baby. That's it. That's it. All right. Tornadoes on three. One, two, three. Tornadoes! <laughs> explain your team's phenomenal success. Roy, we're not just a team. We're a family. And these are my kids, and they play from the heart. I can't believe how much they matured this year. Now we going to the final! Congratulations. Now, what was going through your head when you took that last shot? I hope all the cameras got all my good sides. <laughs> Red Wing Coach Bullet. I'm Andrea Abbott. Oh. Nice to meet you. That was one of the best games I've ever seen. Thanks. Uh, what paper are you from? Actually, I'm not a reporter. I'm head of athletic recruiting at the University of Southern Florida. Head of recruiting? Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, Florida? Uh, the Sunshine State? Uh -huh. uh, you know teddy bears love the sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so does the team captain. Michael Manning. Hi. <laughs> I'm Vince Damata. You might have seen me out there scoring 30 points tonight. <laughs> Hi. I'm Danny Mellon. You might have seen me... Well, you know, out there. <laughs> you guys played a great game. You really work well together. Yeah, we yeah. Sure do. Yeah. We're like family. And I'm gonna miss them when you fly me to Florida. <laughs> First class window seat kosher meal. All right. All right. That's enough. Get your butts in the shower. Let's go. All right. I like the Let's bar. Go. Yeah, hey, it was really nice to meet you. Let's go, Damata. They're uh, quite a gang. Yeah, they really are. And just so you know, I'm um, very protective of these kids and their futures. Who you're interested in? Actually, I'd like to discuss that with you somewhere more private. How about over dinner? You got it. What, guys? The whole school is coming for the final game. The arena is sold out. That's 10,000 seats. Oh, my oh, gosh. That's that's so many people. Yeah, Mom, that's coming. 10,000 really? people? Well, what if I fall off the pyramid or get stuck in a split? Well, then 10,000 people will be laughing. <laughs> oh, no. I'm starting to swell. Whenever I get nervous, I get puffy. Do I look puffy? No, you look like you should relax. Let's do something fun. Okay. They have a bowling alley downstairs. I, I like bowling. Okay, I've always wondered when those places look like on the inside. <laughs> look at you. Hello, hello. Oh, no. He's looking all fine for his big date. Look, it's not a date, it's business. Andrea's a recruiter, remember? Oh, hey, you remember you? Good night, guys. Good night. Night. Hm. I wonder which one of us she wants. There's only one way to find out. Julie's right. We're just gonna have to wait for him to tell us. Get real. I 
damn it, let's go spy on him. Do that right now. Dan Quayle, former vice president of the United States, donated this bowling ball to the university on October 6, 1992. And they say vice presidents never do anything. <laughs> It's almost like shaking hands with the vice president. I'm touching history. <laughs> Christy, put history back before someone sees you. <gasps> oh, no! What? My fingers are stuck. <laughs> Stop fooling around, Christy. I'm not kidding. They're stuck. Well, then unstick them. It won't come off. You know, I thought I'd really miss playing pro ball. I gotta say, I love coaching these kids. Well, look at the effect you have on them. You were obviously born to coach. <laughs> May I get you something? Appetizer, beverage, weed whacker? Uh, we were just talking to the plants. Uh, you know they say they grow better that way. Really? Well, that'll be news to them. They're plastic. <laughs> Have you decided on your order yet? Twenty bucks for a chicken breast? Ugh, that better come with a toy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Actually, I'm really full. <laughs> Could I have another glass of water? Well, there's a hose in the alley. Knock yourself out. <laughs> Maybe we'll just have dessert. Yeah. Certainly. Mmm. Teddy Passamara. I'll have you know that these desserts cost ten dollars a piece. Okay, keep passing that. Oops. <laughs> Might I suggest the snack rack at the gas station? Try the turkey jerky. It's a winner. I'm not leaving my cake. <laughs> Coach, you've really brought the tornadoes a long way. I think you can do the same for us. Are you offering me a job? Yes. We want you to be head coach at the University of Southern Florida. So, Christy, how was bowling? <laughs> I hear you had a real ball. <laughs> and I hear you really stuck on the game. Very bad. I had to tell someone this was way too good. <laughs> you guys, it's not funny. I can't get it off. How am I gonna cheer with this thing on my hand? I don't know. Just don't high five anybody, okay? <laughs> Our beloved Dan Quayle bowling ball has been stolen. Stealing university property is punishable by fine and or imprisonment. Oh, no. I'm a fugitive. Yeah. I could go to jail. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Maybe they have a bowling team. <laughs> hey, listen. Let's run the Get Christy Out of the Student Union play. Ready? Ready. Ready. Hey, hey, Michael. I found out who the recruiter from Southern Florida wants. You're not going to believe it. They want Danny? <laughs> no. They want Coach. What? She offered him the head coaching position. Well, is he going to take it? I don't know. The waiter threw me out before I had a chance to find out. <laughs> Southern Florida is a Division I school. They got to be talking a lot of money. Look, we better not tell anybody about this. We don't want to bring the whole team down. Good idea. Sorry we're late, Coach. Where have you guys been? Man, we got all caught up in this TV show. The most dangerous places to live. Yeah, the whole show was about Florida. Man, that place is downright nasty. Poisonous snakes, hurricanes, flying alligators. Alligators don't fly. <laughs> they do in a hurricane. <laughs> Did you know the last three basketball coaches at the University of Southern Florida fell into a swamp and never heard from again? They say it's a curse. <laughs> you guys heard about the offer, didn't you? No. no. What offer? 
Don't leave me, God damn it. Now, look, I won't lie. It's a great opportunity, and I'm thinking about it. But right now, I'm concentrating on this game, and I suggest you do the same. How can we concentrate when we know you might be leaving? Guys, tonight will be the biggest night of your lives. I mean, don't waste it away worrying about something that might not even happen. Now, come on. We've got a game to win. Let's go. Come on now. Wow, they're saying we're 20-point underdogs. That's nothing. My horoscope says I'm headed for a career in food services. <laughs> Christy, what happened to you? I can't shower, can't change my clothes, can't scratch my back. Why did Dan Quayle have to bowl? That's it. Turning myself in. Excuse me, Mr. Guardman? Here's your ball. You can take us away. Hey, you found it. Thanks. You've been looking all over for this. <laughs> You guys better win tonight, because I am spending a fortune on our victory party. Uh, uh, I'm not going to win. We're going to win. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. What's with you two? The coach is leaving us. What? That's who the recruiter wanted. She offered him the head coaching job at the University of Southern Florida. Are you kidding? I wish I were. Why would he want to leave? Those big-time coaches make tons more money than he's making. Look at Rick Pitino. The guy went from coaching college to the pros, and now he's making $7 million a year. Wow. It does pay to go to college. <laughs> Coach doesn't care about money. So what if he can have a big house with a swimming pool and a sun deck overlooking the ocean? Bye, Coach. <laughs> This house is rockin' tonight. The Deering Tornadoes take on the mighty Dover Huskies for the Indiana State Championship. Guys, I'm real proud of you. You've worked your butts off to get here. Now, trust yourselves, trust your teammates, and you'll walk off this court state champions. Yeah. Hey, come on, guys. This is the big one. We gotta win this one for the coach. Huh? All right, what time is it? Looks like the tornadoes have a bad case of the jitter. Oh my, yet another turnover for Deering. And I'm not talking apples. The tornadoes are literally self-destruct. Do you want to lose? Of course not. Well, get your heads in the game. How can we when we know you're leaving? Look, I mean, you guys have come too far to throw this away. Dover's not beating you because they're a better team. They're beating you because your heads aren't in the game. Well, we can't help it. We're afraid of losing you. Forget about what might happen to me. And think about the opportunity in front of you. You could be champs tonight. That's why you gotta go out there and give it everything you've got. And if you do that, the future will take care of itself. Now, are you guys with me? Come on. Come on, guys! Let's go out there and win this game! Come storming out of the blocks. They look like a totally different team. Whoa, Nelly called a fire to 
compartment because we've got a barn burner going here. Connors looks by the defender. She hits Mellon. Mellon to Damata. Damata shoots. No! Hits Sammy underneath. He scores! And Deering is up by one! That had your name on it, Coach! We're gonna win, baby. We're gonna win. Timeout! Timeout! Marshall puts Dover up by one with only seconds to go. Daring has time for one more play. Sorry, guys. Forget it, Michael. All right, we've got plenty of time. They scouted us in the semifinals, so they're going to be looking for the Blue 31. That means we're going to run the best Blue 31 of our lives. I get the last shot? Shh. No. I mean, you know, I was down. I mean, I can This hit. time, Vince is going to fake it past to you and hit Julie coming around on the weak side. Cool. You got to get open, Julie. I'll be open. All right, people, let's bring home the championship. Tornadoes on three. One, two, three. Tornado! I knew the game was ours. Thanks, Coach. That's right. Sweet. Hey, we're champions of Indiana. How cool is that? You know, I feel taller. Huh? Because you're walking around like you're some kind of state champion or something. Yeah, no. Oh, wait. We have a toast to make. Coach, you believed in us when nobody else did. You taught us that if we believed in ourselves and strive to be the best, we can be the best. But most importantly, you taught us how to be decent human beings. We love you. We'll never forget you. We're going to miss you. But we know you got to do what you got to do. At least we won your last game at Deering, huh? Good luck in Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. Well, first of all, congratulations, you did it. You're all like family to me, which makes my decision tougher. You know, I came to Deering wanting to give to you what my high school coach gave me, the confidence to follow my dreams, a gift that's carried me my whole life. I hope I've given you the same gift. You have, coach. And you know what they say. It's best to go out a winner. Yes. Yeah. And you know what I say. Let's do it again next year. What? 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 You are not going? I'm not done with y'all yet. <laughs> really time to celebrate. To coach. To, to coach. coach. To my players. Get up. <laughs> All right. Hey, tired of not knowing what your favorite NBC stars looked like when they were babies? Well, pull up a high chair. It's time to play Who's That NBC Baby? Oh, look at that cutie pie. Do you think it's News Radio's Phil Hartman, Working Man Fred Savage, or everybody's favorite friend Matthew Perry? Okay, here's a clue. His name kind of rhymes with red cabbage. Tony Danza! Ah, uh, here's another hint. It's Fred Savage. Fred Savage? Yeah, Fred Savage. You know he's all grown up because he's got a job.